Ansel Keys was an American physiologist and nutrition scientist born in Colorado in 1904. He is famous for his research on nutrition, especially his studies on the effects of diet on heart disease. Keyes received his Bachelor of Science degree in Zoology from the University of California, Berkeley in 1925. He then pursued a doctorate in oceanography, but soon switched his focus to physiology. After completing his doctorate, Keyes worked as a research physiologist at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. It was during his time there that he became interested in the link between diet and heart disease. At the time, Heart disease was the leading cause of death in the United States, and Keyes was determined to find a way to prevent it. Keyes conducted several landmark studies in the 1950s and 1960s that demonstrated a clear link between diet and heart disease. His most famous study, the Seven Countries Study, looked at the diets and health of people from seven different countries, including the United States, Japan, and Italy. Keyes found that people who consumed a diet high in saturated fats and cholesterol had a much higher risk of heart disease than those who ate a diet low in these substances. However, Keyes' research has been criticized for several reasons. One of the main criticisms is that he selectively chose the countries for his study in order to support his hypothesis, ignoring other countries where fat intake was high but heart disease rates were low. This is known as the healthy user bias. This research was groundbreaking at the time, as many people believed that heart disease was caused by factors such as stress and genetics, rather than diet. Key's work helped to shift the focus of research and public health efforts towards the role of nutrition in preventing chronic disease. Furthermore, more recent research has challenged Key's hypothesis. Studies have found that a high-fat diet, particularly one rich in healthy fats such as those found in nuts and olive oil, may actually be protective against heart disease. Additionally, other factors such as inflammation and insulin resistance may play a larger role in heart disease than previously thought. Key's research also had a significant impact on public policy. In 1977, the United States government issued its first set of dietary guidelines which recommended reducing saturated fat intake and increasing consumption of fruits, vegetables and whole grain. These guidelines were heavily influenced by Key's research and have since been revised several times. While Ansel Key's research played an important role in raising awareness about the potential link between diet and heart disease, it has been criticized for its limitations and selective interpretation of data. More recent research has challenged his hypothesis and highlighted the importance of considering a range of lifestyle factors in assessing heart disease risk. Despite his contributions to the field of nutrition science, Keyes was not without his critics. Some researchers have criticized his methodology, particularly his selection of the countries included in the Seven Countries study. Others have pointed out that Keyes' research focused almost exclusively on the role of saturated fat and cholesterol in heart disease, neglecting other dietary factors that may also be important. However, over the years the food pyramid regime has been criticized for contributing to the very problems it was designed to prevent. One of the major criticisms of the food pyramid is its heavy emphasis on carbohydrates, particularly refined grains and sugars, which have been linked to increased risk of diabetes and obesity. The base of the pyramid is made up of grains, which are recommended to be consumed in large quantities, often in the form of processed foods like bread, pasta and cereal. However, these foods are high in calories and low in nutrients, leading to weight gain and a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Additionally, the pyramid recommends limiting fat intake, which has led many people to consume more carbohydrates to feel full, contributing to the obesity epidemic. Furthermore, the food pyramid has been criticized for failing to adequately address the importance of individualized dietary needs and preferences. People have different nutritional requirements based on factors such as age, gender, activity level, and health status. Yet the food pyramid offers a one-size-fits-all approach to nutrition. In conclusion, the food pyramid regime has increased the risk of diabetes and obesity by promoting a high-carbohydrate, low-fat diet that is not appropriate for everyone.